I know these carbs are not the right ones for this particular engine. And um, they are for a single overhead cam Honda, but not this particular model, which was a K4. These, I think, were off either an F-Series or perhaps one of the later ones. Now that's going to cause me a couple of issues, but probably not too many. It should work. First problem that I've come across is that uh, the throttle cables, the actual bit that sticks out, doesn't seem quite long enough for the mechanism that operates the throttle. So I'm going to have to do something to adjust these. I've done it before on other bikes, so I think I'll be able to do that by trimming the outer casing to make it the right length. That'll be the last part of this though. Um, the first part is I'm going to have to take them off, give them a good clean. I was told that these came with this engine when the previous owner bought the engine to go with this bike, uh, which is probably true. He also said that he's had them off and he's cleaned them. I'm really hoping that he's put a new uh, repair kit in with new gaskets and everything. I'm suspicious that he may not have done, so we'll, we'll have to see when we open them up. Um, although he says he's cleaned them, they do seem to be a, a little bit mucky around you know, the inlet side. Uh, maybe some people's standards of cleanliness with these things is, is slightly different. I'm not going to knock it. I hope, I'm hoping I'll find it really nice and clean inside. Good thing is I've got a, an ultrasonic cleaner as well so I think I may pop them in there although the outsides of them don't look too bad. Let's see how I go. There's no real mounting for these carburettors. They're only held on by the things that they actually need to contact to. So the rubber to the inlet side, rubber to air filter, pipes to the tank, and the throttle cables. Well, the throttle cables are definitely off. The tank's off, there's no pipes, there's no air filter. So the only thing that's holding them on is these rubbers. Now these rubbers do feel like they're quite fossilised. So I'll undo the clamps and then I'll get a, a hot air gun, warm them up. When you warm them up they become a lot more pliable and then with a little bit of raunching these should probably just pop off. Now I noticed straight away that the clamps, most of them, are either undone or very loose anyway. So I'll just undo them, quick bit of air gun, bit of raunching, should come off. It's interesting that the outer ones are very loose, but the inner ones have been tightened a little bit. So, making sure I'm using a JIS screwdriver, I just slacken them off and then get the hot air gun. I'll also undo these inner clamps as well, and that way you've got two chances of them coming off, so it should be okay. You don't go too mad with the hot air gun, you want them warm, not red hot. And you can burn the rubber if you put it too close and leave it on there for too long. So just be gentle with it. Warm, not hot. Right, now I've warmed them up. Let's see if they'll put up much of a resistance. Sometimes it's a real wrestling match, sometimes they come off really easily. You can feel the warmth off there actually. Actually, they were quite loose. So there we go. I'll probably leave those rubber connectors on. And just tighten them back up again when I put the carbs back on. But so nothing gets inside. I'm just going to put a little bit of paper towel in. Keep out the mice. Don't want to put anything in that could get sucked in if I'm turning the engine over though. So I'm just going to put it into this mouth with a little, yeah, a little bit of force. And that should be fine. To be fair to the previous owner looking at these, they are very clean, apart from lacquer that seems to have built up in these mouths of the throttle bodies. I'm going to have a look inside the float chambers, and I may actually just then take him at his word that he's actually cleaned the inside of these quite well. Um, I hope that's the case. One of the worrying things is there seems to be a variety of fasteners been used. Um, 
noticed that before. So I'm just hoping that uh, at least the threads are right, even if the heads aren't. Different washers. It is a bit worrying. Well, it really doesn't look too bad. There's not quite as clean as I'd have hoped in there. And I'm pretty confident that isn't a new washer. I think I'll buy a rebuild kit for these anyway. Right, well, I've seen enough to know. I'm going to strip these down, get a rebuild kit, and I'm going to go through them really carefully. They're not really dirty, and if the bike had been running, I would probably think, yeah, I could live with that for a little while. The reality is, the last time this bike was road taxed was in 1984, 36 years ago. Now, I know this wasn't the engine that was in it then, but the engine's actually older, so these carbs, you know, could be good 30 years since they've been on a running bike. Uh, I think uh, I'd want to make sure that all of the airways are clean, all the jets are clear, and that we've got the float heights right. I can see that there's some odd bits about the floats. The, the actual needle valve on that one doesn't seem to pull out at all. So, definitely have a clean.
I've come to the conclusion that this bit needs to be three and a half centimeters back. They do say measure twice, cut once. It is a bit of a bath taking this off, but with a little bit of persistence and a little bit of care, you can do it and you'll make it nice and neat. There you go, needs a bit of tightening up, but the throttle now opens the slides and the carbs. So, on to the next thing. It was shameful really that I didn't spot that the uh, floats were in the wrong way, and I'm surprised the float chambers even fit on. You shouldn't ever take things for granted when you're stripping things down, and a bit more care would have been uh, a very appropriate at the time. They included a few images of different things, especially like the choke fittings. Uh, it can be quite awkward on this bike. Setting the float heights just to the end of the pilot jet was the way to go. I hope you've enjoyed what I've done. It's took me quite a while to make this video. At least I can move on now. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, maybe even give us a thumbs up.